hi there and welcome to my channel in this video we are coming to continue our discussion on building the three statement financial model and in this video what we are coming to do is to continue the building of the model and what we are specifically coming to do is to add some charts and graphs to our model so if this is your first time watching my video um, kindly subscribe to the channel and also go back and, and watch my previous video on how we built this three statement financial model together all right so i will leave um, a template of the model in the dis video description so that you can download it and follow along all right so let's get into what we are here for so we are coming to add a new um data to our model and we are coming to call it charts so we are going to call it charts and graphs sorry charts and graphs and let's add some so i'll select my cells to the very last year and then i will change my color to the blue as we are for the rest okay and the first chart we want to add is that of the statement of profit or loss so we we'll have statement of profit or loss and with the statement of profit or loss we are coming to look at the sales revenue trend so we have the sales revenue trend um we will also look at the operating profits sorry so we have the operating profits and we would also be looking at the we we'll use the operating profits to calculate the um, operating profit margin so just so basically for me so operating profit margin and we we'll also look at our net profit margin however we we'll would like to look at our net profit first which will help us to calculate the <coughs> net profit margin so I'll select that and now add margin so these are the items we are going to use to um, populate the chart and graph for our statement of profit or loss and we will also be considering the statement sorry so we have the statement of financial position And with the statement of financial position, we are coming to look at our inventory. How quickly or how is our inventory moving? So we look at our inventory, we look at our total current assets. Look at our total current assets movement. We we'll also look at our total current liabilities so i'll cancel my assets and write liabilities sorry so we have liabilities and we'll also look at our total assets so financial model is as we we already knew from the previous video is for decision making purposes we are trying to forecast our business um for the foreseeable future so uh when we plot these items on the graph we want to see how these items are trending or how they are going to trend or how likely they are going to trend going forward so we are interested in our sales revenue trend the operating profit margin how much profit are we making on operations we want to look at our net profits margin as well and then for the statements of financial position we are looking at 
the inventory, total current assets, total current liabilities, as well as the total asset streams. So this is what we are coming to build. We would also add a statement of uh, statement of cash flows. So as we have already said in the previous video, this is a three statement financial model. So whatever you are doing should be relating to the three financial statements. So statement of cash flows. All right. So the statement of cash flows, we are going to look at the three major components of that statement. And these include operate cash flows from, so you have cash flows from operating activities would we'll also have cash flows so um, I want to make this as simple as possible so instead of operating activities let's make it operations sure then uh, I would also change this to so cash flows from investing and then we also have cash flows from financing so financing used to be equal so we have that and then we'll also look at our movement in cash flows so that is the result of these three um, items so movement in cash flows okay great so we have set up the items we need so what we'll do is that i'm coming to expand the statement so that we can pick the items we need to um, build the charts and the graphs all right so i'll come to this and then i'll open my and the first item you are looking at is our source revenue so i'll do equals go to my statement of profit or loss and get my revenue and also the operating profit that is going to be equal to um so operating profit is actually our profit before interest and tax so the profit before interest and tax is what you call the operating profit so it is actually a very um ideal measure of the performance of the business um so you also see other ways such as ebitda or what you call earnings before interest tax depreciation and amortization however the most um reliable measure of the business's performance is the operating profits and that is the profit before interest and taxation all right so uh what we we'll do is to get the profit before interest and taxation this is our interest and this is our tax so for me to get the profit before interest and tax i can just uh, pick the profits the income before income taxes here and i'll add back the interest expense or i can pick the gross profits here and um subtract my sgna expense as well as my depreciation expense that will give me the same thing so for this i'll pick my income before taxes and i would add back my interest expense however the interest expense is a negative number so i'll bring minus and then i'll add this so so this is our um, operating profit then our operating profit margin the operating profit margin is equal to our operating profit divided by revenue so that is um six percent for 20 23 okay for 2018 sorry and then we have our net profit so we go back and link our net profit so our net profit is the profit after tax so we have this and the net profit margin is also equals the net profit 
divided by our sales revenue and that is it so i can just select this and copy it across so i'll hold my control r to copy everything across all right then let us also quickly populate that of the statement of financial position so we have equals our revenue so i have my revenue and uh, sorry my inventories so i have my inventories my total current assets total current assets which i have right here and also i'll link my total current liabilities so here is my total current liabilities and also the last one is total assets so our total assets which is the same as total liabilities plus shareholders equity so this is my total assets right here link it and i'll copy everything across with control r so control r copies everything across and then finally for my statement of cash flows i will have equals cash flows from operations so this is cash generated from operations so we have that cash flows from investing so cash flows from investing activities have that and we have cash flows from financing so cash flows from financing activities um looking at this uh the cash flows from financing are actually zero 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 for our projected years so it is not prudent for us to include the cash flows from financing activities because it's going to give us a straight line which is zero 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 and so it doesn't impact the model so we can exclude it so i'm going to exclude cash flows from investing activities so press the it and finally i will add my movement in cash flows which is the addition of the three um, um, cash flow activities so this is our cash used or generated in the period that is the movement in cash so we have that and i'll copy my formulas across so we have this copy it across great so with this we can now um build our charts and graphs all right so to build our charts and graph we are going to select our items so i'm going to select everything here so here they are and just check it so so we have selected everything and then i'll go to insert recommended charts as we have here so i come to recommended charts and i'll go to all charts come to combo and here we have it so how do we want our uh, i'll come here rather so how do we want our charts to look like so my sales revenue i would like my sales revenue to be a bar chart a clustered column chart so we have it there and then my operating profit all right so let's come back to our model we are not going to include our operating profit so what i'm going to include in my chart is the sales revenue operating margin and then the net profit margin so i'll come here and select only those columns only those rules so i'll select the whole of the sales revenue and holding my control 
um, key, I'll select my operating profit and then go back to my shift and select everything here. And then lastly, holding my control, I'll select my net profit margin, hold my shift and then I'll use the right arrow to select that of my net profit margin. So we have these three items that we are going to use for the charts. So I'll come go back to my recommended charts, come to my um, all charts combo and I'll come here and then I would like my sales revenue to be a bar chart, my operating margin, I want it to be a line. So I'll select a line here and my net profit margin should also be in line. And I want to select this um, secondary axis. So I'll select my first secondary axis there. And so we can see a preview. We can have a preview of the chart. So I'll select, okay, that's what I want. And then I can actually pick it. I can actually pick it, move it to wherever I want it to be. So come here and place it right here and then I can also resize it nicely resize it nicely and okay so let me um, zoom out a little just so we can see everything all right so let's do some um, best um, editing practices when it comes to charts and graphs so the first thing I want to do is to remove the grid lines and also um, before that in my previous video I didn't actually um, do this so what we do is to be able to have a very clean looking financial model we tend we turn off our grid lines so I'll come to my view and then so I'll select my any of my cells come to the view tab and then I will turn off I'll unselect the grid lines okay so this is this makes our model very nicely looking all right then we'll come back to our charts so what we do with our charts is that we usually turn off the grid lines because they interfere with whatever we want to look at for our analysis so I'll turn it off I'll delete it and I'll also select my bars, right click, and then I want to change the fill. I want to change the fill to this deep blue here. The outline should also be this deep blue. You have that. And with my orange, I'll select my operating margin line come to my fill and I want to select this orange color come to the outline and select this orange color as well and then for the uh, net operating margin I want to I want to select this darker color for it and then also the outline I want this darker okay so that's perfect and what the last thing I want to do is instead of seeing our years so we want to see 2018 actual 2019 actual 2020 actual we are seeing one two three four five so what we want to do is we want to I would want to select these the axis so I want to edit my X axis I'll select it right click and I'll go to select data so when I come to select data for my sales revenue I'll come to the horizon so this is the horizontal axis which is our X axis so I'll come to edit and the range I want to use is our years so I'll come here and select my years up to the last and then I'll press OK I'll select my operating margin as well, come to edit, and the range remains the same. 
So I come here and select from 2018 through 2013. And then I'll press OK. And then I'll come here and see. <coughs> Alright, so this is what we have here. And then uh, I'll hit OK. So that on our graph, we are coming to see our years under the... So we are coming to see years under the um, the x-axis or the horizontal axis all right so that is it for the statement of so and my title i can say can edit my title here um i can edit it to be statement of profit or loss or loss um chart good so i have that right there and let's see so this is it very nicely done then we continue to the statement of financial position so with this one we are coming to um plot everything so i'll select the entire items with their values and i'll go to insert recommended charts go to all charts come to combo here and i'll select this and then for my inventory my total inventory i want it to be in line because i want to see how our inventory has been moving throughout the year so i want to see it in a line chart format um my total current assets in a line chart format however for my total assets i want to see it in a bar format and then i'll select my secondary axis And then I'll hit OK because that's what I'm looking for. And I'll move it to its position. So let me bring it here. So I'm going to bring it here. Resize it nicely. And want to do the same. So I'll select my grid lines so selecting my grid lines i'll i'll press delete to delete those and then also i'll give my charts the title the title is statement of financial of financial position Charts. So this. Is, so we have charts there. That is fine. And I want to change the colors. So I'll select my bars. Come to fill. And with the fill, I want to use this orange color. and the outline should also be the orange for my total current liabilities line i want to format it to this darker this darker color here darker one here and for my um trend line this particular one i want to inventory that is my inventory i want to format it to this deeper blue then change the outline also to deeper blue and i can also um, increase its size so i come here format data series and i can come here and increase its 
size a little bit so increasing it to 2.5 that is fine you can select this one increase it to 2.5 can also select this sorry and then I can also increase it to 2.5 and then I want to change the color of that to this lighter blue great so we have it there nicely formatted so I can also actually move my title up a bit okay and we also want to change the one two three to our years so I'll select my um, horizontal axis right click go to select data and for the inventory I want to edit it and select my years so I'll come here and select all my years as we have it there I'll press OK come to my total current liability and uh, current assets and I'll come to my years and select the years hit ok and then also I will select that of total assets and select my years then I will hit ok so we have everything selected so I'll press enter let me collapse this um, so we have here so we have a very nicely formatted um, chart for our statements of financial position so as we can see in the coming years so this is up to our actuals so this is the last actual we have here so this is how we are um, projecting our inventories total current assets our total current liabilities and our total assets to rise in the next eight years one this is one two three four and then another four so this is what we are trying to um or this is how we expect our um statements of financial position items to rise or to perform in the coming years okay and as you can see uh, we've seen the um total revenue increasing throughout these years so this is how we are expecting our revenue to grow throughout the year however our operating profit margin and net profit margin are fair, are going to be fairly stable over the coming years so what we want to do is perhaps looking at this we can use it to make decisions so perhaps we want to reduce our operating expenses so we can increase our operating profit margin so and then the um, amount you pay for our interest in taxes we want to limit that so that we can make enough um, returns on operations and as well as make increase our net profit um, position All right so the last chart you want to add is the statement of cash flows so I'll select my entire um, statements of cash flow items together with their values and I'll go to insert recommended charts go to all charts select my combo charts and I want to um so I'll come here okay so I'll, i have this 
so this is what I want and then I'll press OK and I want to bring it here resize it nicely resize this and I'll select my grid lines delete select this and then right click and I want to change the fill to um, this darker and then the outline also to this darker one and I want this blue to be actually this all right so let me also give a name to my chart so i'll come here give a name to my chart i'm going to call it statement statement of sorry that is statement of cash flows Charts. So we have that, and for my data labels, I'm going to uh, right click and then select data for the cash flows. Everything I'm going to select the years as we have done for the previous charts. So I'll select my years, it's okay come here and also select my years so I'll come here and select my years and then I'll hit OK so we have that in place and then I'll hit OK so I'll come back to my charts and here we have it however this is interfering with my chart so let me see if I can move it a bit so this cannot be moved. So I'm trying to move it to uh, maybe downwards. However, it is not actually moving. So go to forward accessories. And Axis position. So the axis position. Let's see if we can do something about it. Count my labels. So we have high low next to us. Let me see high. Let me see low. Let me see now. So we can actually turn it off because it is interfering with our um uh our chart. So we turn it off so that we can have a better view of the chart. However, we know that this chart and this chart are all on the same uh date. And so we don't have an issue with that. So this is how we build or this is how we add charts to our um, financial model. All right. So let me actually zoom out so we can see what we are having here. So this is what we are having here. So this is our financial model. And what we want to do for the last is we want to group it. 
so I'll select my entire area from area and then I'll go to data come to outline and I'll press on group so this is how we group it and then so that we can collapse we can collapse and expand all right so let me zoom in so let me press one to collapse everything so this is how we build the or this is how we add charts and graphs to our financial model thank you very much for your time in our next video we are coming to um look at sensitivity and scenario analysis so um there are times that after building our charts we want to see if a particular um financial metric changes what will happen to other items within the financial statements that is fine a um, scenario and sensitivity analysis so we are coming to add some sensitivity analysis to our charts so be on the lookout for my new videos kindly subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video